again, welcome back to the Mark IV Sunny Engine project videos. So this is the fourth video now. Um, so I'm almost, um, I'm almost at a completion point really. So um, in this video, I might get to the point of um, pretty much having it finished, um, but I'll see how much I can do. This is just turned up in the post. This is actually, in fact, a baking mat. It's made out of silicon, um, silicon rubber. Very stretchy, strong, temperature resistant up to um, 300 degrees, I believe. Um, it's about point, uh, uh, 0 0.8 millimetres thick. Um, I'm hoping to use this for the membrane for the diaphragm seals. How it's going to work out, I don't know. Um, but I'm going to give it a go. two weeks of work um, I'm almost there now I'll just take you over what I've been up to all right so the piston assembly um, so I've uh, loosely put all the linkages in position this piece here is not welded on yet um, but everything else is pretty much in place so I've got my piston here I'll loosely put that in place like that so this is going to be going in and out as a diaphragm piston um, the first kind of diaphragm I'm going to play with is this piece of silicon rubber um, but I'm probably going to add some other layers of different materials as well to give it some support to actually um, support the piston. I will admit this piston has ended up a little bit heavy really. I'm not fully happy with it but I'm going to fit it and try it and see what happens and then go from that. So I've quickly knocked up a crank out of some scrap material. The reason I haven't properly finished it yet and I haven't added a counterweight for the connecting rods is because I'm not exactly sure what length it needs to be. According to my um, my drawings, it should be that length, um, but in real life, there might be extra um, dead space within the engine which affects things. So until I've experimented with different lengths and got the got the one that offers the right compression ratio, then I um, I will stick with that one for the moment. I thought I'd better put it on the trolley sooner rather than later, so I'm not struggling getting it in and out of garage. No doubt it's going to take a bit of modification with this, that and everything else, so um, it's a nice easy way of moving it around. So I've got my flywheel on there. Um, I can give it a spin. So we can see the linkage. Let's give it a little spin, get it going. Yep, yeah, so... I'm quite fond of the linkage so far. It might, it should offer a fairly uh, 
vibration free engine because we're in a great deal of mass moving there's a slight scrape at the moment on the crank it's because um the washers i'm using for spaces between the bearings are actually touching the outside base of the bearings so i'll need to um grind uh, the edge of the washers off a little bit to stop that but other than that i'm fairly happy i've welded um various bosses and stuff on um, so this one here is going to have the stop valve on it. This one's going to have a pressure gauge on it. And this one down here is going to have the non-return valve. So it will let air into the engine, but won't let it escape again. Um, as long as there's no air leaks, I'm not expecting this engine to lose a great deal of air. So hopefully that one won't see too much use. So there you go. Not much more to do now. But will it work? That's the big question. Um, hopefully next time I'll be in a position to put some fire in it and uh, give it a go and we can find out what's going to happen. Till next time. Bye.